to another episode of How Do You Love? And in today's episode, we are making an upgraded version of ceviche. Do you want to upgrade your ceviche? This is the perfect recipe to watch from beginning to end because it will have that succulent crunch, the zestiness, and um, the, it, you'll taste the zestiness in the shrimp. So for today's recipe, you'll need the ingredients you see here. You can also click on the link below to see the complete list and follow along with me in this video. So right here, I did exactly what I did last time, and I'm gonna link the video from last recipe of ceviche as well, but it was a little bit different at the end. So watch that one um, at the very end if you're interested in adding different types of ingredients. So for this recipe, my top secret is, um, is chopping the onion and the jalapenos and marin marinating them in lemon. So that's how I started this about 15 minutes ago. In this recipe, we're also gonna be adding some avocados um, and we'll be doing that at the end and I'll show you what that looks like at the very end. So for now, these are the ingredients we're gonna be using and you probably noticed my jicama. You can get this at your Mexican grocery stores and I'll probably add only like about a quarter to a half of my jicama after I peel it of this chopped small and small fine cubes in here because it's gonna give it an amazing crunch. I can't wait till you taste this recipe. You're gonna love this um, ceviche with jicama crunchy pieces. So the night before, here's what I want you to do. I want you to chop about three quarters of an onion in a pan that's like this because you want the lemon juice to be able to be absorbed into the ingredients that you're putting in your pan. Okay, so that's the first thing. Three quarters of, of an onion, and we're gonna chop about, about three quarters or whatever you want of this chile serrano in here. And in here, we're also gonna chop two yellow jalapenos. And I got these ingredients for my local Cárdenas. Then you're gonna squeeze the juice of five limes in here and add salt to taste. So I already added my salt, and this is the foundation for the perfect recipe. Behind me, I have a pot of water boiling with a smaller chile serrano <laughs> chopped in half to flavor the water with salt. And that has been boiling for about 30 minutes. Now that it's reached a boil, I'm gonna drop my shrimp in there boil those for thir for three minutes. As soon as they turn pink, give them a little mix, strain them, and I'll show you what that looks like next. I'm using about a half, a bag and a half from my Costco frozen um, d vein shrimp, the 3140 shrimp. And so I, I want it to have lots of pieces of shrimp. So I'm gonna show you one of my secrets that I use when it comes to chopping my shrimp. The secret to the perfect ceviche and leveling up your ceviche is ha prepping the night before. So here on Ceviche Eve, we are prepping and in here I have my onion, four to five juices of a lime, juice of the five limes, um, and I have my chile serrano and my yellow jalapeno. I roughly chopped my cooked shrimp and I gave it a mix. So to this mixture, I've added my roughly chopped cooked shrimp because who doesn't like to have a bite of shrimp in every single bite? And that's my secret. So I'm gonna um, put the lid on here, let it sit overnight in my fridge. And here on Ceviche Eve, we also already chopped our cucumber and we'll be chopping three tomatoes and a small handful of cilantro and then adjusting the flavor as needed. To this, we will be adding about a quarter to half of a jicama finely chopped in here and it will have that amazing zesty flavor. So all of these these three ingredients, so one of my secrets is that the tomatoes and the, and the cucumbers, I chop them the night before and then I strain the excess water because I don't want to add the liquid from that that is released in here into my ceviche because I want the main flavor to be the lime. That's another mom trick. Mom trick, mom tip. So this is what my finished product looks like. So now I'm gonna give it, um, I'm gonna chop off. And honestly, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I didn't, I don't know why I tried using the pillar on here. It didn't work. 
um, as well as I wanted to. And I just finally uh, removed the skin, like the outermost most layer of the skin. So yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to start chopping it. And it is now the morning of ceviche day. And I like to prepare this part of the recipe in the morning so that the remainder of the ingredients when we're ready for dinner, the remainder of the ingredients also have the opportunity to absorb the succulent, limey and zesty flavors from the lemon juice or lime juice, whatever you use. Then it kind of feels like you had an assistant. You get home from work and you're like, oh, dinner is ready. Who did that? Oh, I did. Ha! And if you're wondering if you've never tried hikama and you're wondering what it tastes like, it tastes fresh, juicy, sweet, has a unique taste. It's like the, it's like the relative of the potato, but in a fruity sense. So my ceviche with the shrimp that uh, mixture that I mentioned yesterday has been marinating all night. So the flavors are perfectly zesty. And all I did was grab two, two small avocados and I chopped them finely and I mixed them in here. That's what I just finished doing right now. That's what it looks like. In here, I have my hikama and all of the ingredients that I'm gonna be adding into this mixture and letting rest for the whole day until I get home from work so that we can have dinner. And these, the re remainder of these ingredients, get the opportunity to absorb the, the lime juice and all of the flavors. And then I'm gonna taste it to make sure it doesn't need any more salt and season to taste. I have um, about half of a hikama. I have my three tomatoes two cucumbers, and the cilantro is berry, but there are three and a half tablespoons just about in here. You can add more ingredients or whatever other ingredients you prefer in your ceviche. You know your family best. And you are the one in charge so that your creativity can shine in the kitchen. That's how your love is demonstrated. And I love adding jicama into my ceviche because it leaves people saying there is this zesty crunch and I can't identify it, but I love it. And now I'm gonna give it a mix. And if you feel like you need to add cilantro once you're done mixing, then do it. You just wanna make sure that every, all the flavors, all the ingredients are well distributed. If you feel like you need to add more lime juice, do it. I usually end up adding between, depending on the size of the lime, I end up adding between five to eight lines into my ceviche. And I like a platter that's flatter when it comes to your ceviche because then all the flavors um, really have the opportunity to, all the ingredients really have the opportunity to get to know each other and to um, be rich and delicious every bite you take, right? So I forgot to tell you, but I also strained my tomato and cucumber for any excess juice. Like I mentioned before, I like to um, make sure that the additional juices that come from, you know, when you're chopping the tomatoes and the, and the cucumbers don't disrupt the flavors that I'm trying to make the main course in here, which is a little bit of the, the lime juice and the salt. So as I'm mixing, I'm noticing that I need more cilantro. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop a little bit more and add it to my... You guys, I just ended up tasting my ceviche and it still needed more zestiness. Just added four more limes, the juices, the juice of four more limes. And it also still needs more salt. So I will be adding more salt. And I did add my cilantro. I added about three more tablespoons and that's the perfect amount for me, in my opinion. Some people like to add more shrimp, more protein, other types of protein. You're welcome to do that. I'm sure it'll be amazing as long as you do it with love. This is my little bit more of salt. Now I'm gonna give it a good mix and I'm gonna let it sit. I am here to tell you that you are the master chef. And if you taste this and you feel like it needs more salt, 
add more salt. If you taste this and you feel like I need more chile, add more chile, because guess what? I tasted it and needed more salt and more chile and one more lime, and I added all of those things as part of my final touches. So we are at the plating stage, and I like to um, use different types of tostadas. Today we are using Guerrero, the little ones tostadas, and one of my favorites is also Los Pericos, so we'll be using these as well for our dinner. But I wanted to show you how amazing our dish looks um, now that it's completely ready. I tasted it and it tastes amazing. You can taste the zestiness, the crunch. You can't, you can't really tell that there's jicama in there, but there's an extra crunch that you're making. You're wondering, what is that? Because it's amazing. So let me show you. Take a look at how you're going to have pieces of shrimp in every bite and how amazing this is going to be for your guests and your family. Here are our tostadas. Don't they look delicious? Remember, if it brings your family together, it's worth it.